In this video, we're gonna see how to detect an object using Python. Not a single object, but multiple objects and that too in real time. So to detect the objects in real time, we're gonna use the YOLO model. So this is what we're gonna do in this video using the YOLO model. We're gonna detect the multiple objects in the camera. You can see that when I open up the camera, it detects all the things that is present in the camera. You can see that it detects me as well as when I uh, show the bottle, it also detects the bottle. And when I show the mobile phone, you can see that when I show the mobile phone, it also detects the mobile phone. You can see that it detects the multiple objects, not only me, it detects the mobile phone as well as the bottle. You can see that it detects three objects here. And not only this, you can detect any objects that is present in the camera. So let's see how to implement this object detection in real time using YOLO model. Let's get started. For this, the library that we're going to use is Ultralytics. So just head over to the GitHub and type Ultralytics YOLO GitHub. Uh, if you open this GitHub page here, you can see that in this page, if you scroll on Ultralytics, are the one who provides the YOLO model. And if you scroll on, you have two options. Either you can build the YOLO model from scratch or you can take the pre built model. You can see that if you scroll down, you can see that this is the code to build the YOLO model from scratch. You can train it based on the eco code data set. Or if you want to get the pre trained model, you can also download the pre trained model and detect the objects. You can see that if you scroll down, you can see that these are the pre trained objects YOLO 11. There are many versions available. The one we are using this video is the YOLO 11. But if you open up the Google and type YOLO version, you can see that. And uh, let me open up this image now. Consider the YOLO starts with V1. Now it is at the stage of V11. You consider it gradually evolved from the V1, V2. And now we are in the stage of V11. So we're going to use the YOLO V11 in this video. So YOLO V11, that is the nano one, small one. There are many models and it is trained on the Cocoa data set. If you offer another Tap on the Cocoa dataset, you can see that this is the official website for the Cocoa dataset. And if you want to download the Cocoa dataset, what you can do is you can just head over to this Kaggle website. And from this Kaggle website, you can download the Cocoa dataset. Or uh, if you want to train the YOLO model from scratch. But in this video, we're going to build the YOLO pre trained YOLO model. We are not going to train it because we don't have the uh, computational power. And if you want to see the what are the labels that the YOLO model train on, just type Cocoa dataset label. You can see that when you open up this page here, let me open up this file and you consider these are the things that the YOLO model is trying on. You can detect the person, bicycle, car, house. It also detects the mobile phone, bottle, lot of stuff. 100 labels you can detect. So, and the model that we're going to download is the, you have the auto option. We have the small model also. We have the medium, large, extra medium. So, depending on your computer configuration, select one. I'm going to choose the nano version here. So, let me download this and have a project folder in the desktop. Let me put this model into that project folder now the model has been downloaded successfully then what we can do is let me open up the resource report now you can see that in the desktop i have the project folder let me open up this project folder in the resource studio code let me open this in the vs code so now i have the project folder here you can see that here in this folder i have this uh, yolo model let's create a python file now and we need to install the that is the ultralytics library so to install it just open up your command prompt and we have to create a virtual environment so to do that python minus mv and v dot v and v and press enter this will create a virtual environment for you so inside this virtual environment we're going to install all the libraries now the virtual environment has been created we have to activate it so dot v and v inside the scripts we have to activate it to consider now the virtual environment has been activated successfully and to install a library just go to the github page one more time and if you scroll up uh, you have a pip install command so if you scroll on, let me scroll on. You can see that here we have a pip install command. Just copy this and paste it in this terminal here. And it will install the Ultralytics library for you. So once it is installed, then we're good to go. So using this library only, it will provide us the YOLO class. So inside the YOLO class, we have to pass the YOLO model that is the downloader. So this will take some time. So just give you a few minutes. You consider it's downloading the task. Now the Ultralytics library has been downloaded successful. The another library that we need is the pip install OpenCV Python because we need to access the camera, right? So we have to detect all the persons, all the things that is present in the camera. So that's why we need the camera. Now that thing also installed. Let's import the libraries that we have installed now. We need the CV2 that is the OpenCV. And if you want to select the virtual environment that you have choose, you consider in the project folder we have a virtual environment, right? So we have to select this virtual environment in the visual studio code. We go to the visual studio code and you consider here we have a python version just click on that you can see that here we have a virtual environment dot bnv select that dot env now the virtual environment has been selected and from ultralytics what we have to do is we have to import the yolo class from ultralytics just import the yolo and we can define a model 
model equal to yolo inside this pass the model name that you have already considered here we have your model name right pass yolo lavan n dot pt so this is the model that we have downloaded right and we have the model right first what we can do is we can pass the image to detect the objects from those images then we're gonna see how to implement the camera from let's open up your google and i'm gonna download an image called the captain dog image and let's download a sample image to see if the yolo model first detect the faces in this image so let me download this image now we consider in this image we have two face dog face and the cat face let's see if the yolo model can detect this face so once we have seen this then we're gonna see how to implement this real time using the open cv and let's go to the visual studio pro we consider it here we have a image right let's pass this image uh, to the model now so results equal to model so inside this model just pass the image name the image name is the cat and dog dot jpeg cat and dog dot jpeg now we have the results right then what we can do is we can plot it we can plot the coordinates that is the bounding box so results of zero dot plot and let's save this file and click on run now it will give us the coordinates where the faces are located so using the coordinates we can plot it to the image itself so next we're gonna see how to do that you can see that in the result we have the coordinates that is the dog coordinate as well as the cat image face coordinate so let's see how to plot this to the image itself so that we can view it visually consider here we have a coordinates right one cat and one dog and instead of plot mother just call it show mother this will show the image directly to you so now run it now consider it open up the image automatically and it has successfully plot the uh, boxes for you consider it detects the dog as well as the cat so let us see how to implement this real time using the camera so whatever is present in the camera it will detect that let's see how to do that and for this uh, let's remove these two lens we don't need it and we have to define the camera so using the cv2 we can get the camera so camera equal to cv2 dot video capture so cv2 dot video capture inside this pass 0 so if you have a default camera you can pass 0 or if you have another camera pass 1 so while 2 we're gonna continuously get the frame so while 2 we're gonna continuously get the frame from the camera so camera dot read and we have two values return value as well as the frame the return value will tell if the frame is successfully captured or not so camera dot read so if the return value is not true that is if the frame is not captured properly then we can break it the, because we have in the directed the frame that's why we will break so but if you have the frame then what we can raise we can get the results so result equal to call the model now so inside the model pass the frame and let's also pass verbose equal to false because each time it won't show you the information we have to run the model behind the same side so we don't want to see any information on the screen that's why verbose equal to false and we have passed the frame to it and once we got the results then what we can do is and we can plot the we can get the coordinates and plot it to the frame then we can display it so plot frame equal to results of zero dot plot so this time we are using the plot function earlier we used the show function to show the image directly we're gonna use the plot to plot the coordinates and we're gonna show the frame to the camera now so cv2 dot image is show so inside this just pass the window name so give you a name for your window and also pass the plot frame so this is our frame that is a plot is then once we have the cv2 object we have to close it right somehow we have to close it right that's why if cv2 dot wait key and if the user press q then we're gonna end the cv2 camera so that's why if cv2 dot wait key and if the user press q then we're gonna break it and that's it this is the code and finally what we have to do is we have to release the camera that we taken so camera dot release camera dot release and we'll have to destroy all the windows that we have opened so cv2 that destroy all windows so that's it this is the code only say 26 lines of 40 degree objects in real time so just click on this run button now i have taken the pre-trained model that's why we have the few lines of code if you want to train the model from scratch you can also do that in the upcoming videos i try to upload that video also how to train the yolo model from scratch using our custom data set so if you want to watch that video feel free to subscribe to this channel so you that you will get the notification you consider the open of the camera and you consider it detects me as a person and it also gives the probability it detects me as 90 percent accuracy and if i open up the bottle you consider it also detects the bottle so let me bring the bottle closer consider it detects the bottle as well and if we bring up the cell phone now you consider it also detects the cell phone
so yeah consider detecting multiple objects not only single object detecting multiple objects smoothly so if you are using any other model it would be laggy or it will give the results delay but since we are using a yolo model yolo is the fastest model available right now for the object detection so that's why it is very smooth and it detects the objects multiple objects real time so this is for this video and i will continue in the next one